thank you, thank you. What an honor. Um, I must say, I guess it was about two weeks ago, we were at ED meetings in Ontario, and Paula was ta starting to talk about this award, and she, you know, was saying that it was somebody in Ontario, and then her voice started to warm a bit, and I've known Paula for a few years, and I thought, I think it's someone in this room. <laughs> And I sort of put my pen down and started to pay attention, wondering who it could be. And uh, then she started reading a letter from John Howard Canada to me. And I was so humbled in that moment, and uh, a few tears flowed. I was very touched. Uh, for me to work for an organization that even has a humanitarian award <laughs> says a lot for who we are. And uh, I accept that award on behalf of all the humanitarian work that I know is happening uh, throughout all John Howard's in Canada every day. <coughs> I just want to briefly sort of talk about what brought me uh, into John Howard. But before I start, I've got to thank these two over here for nominating me. I'm really touched by that and I really appreciate that. Uh, my husband is here with me. We're making this sort of a mini vacation and checking out St. John's. and Beautiful place. I totally love it here. But what uh, drew me into John Howard? I was thinking about this a lot over the last few weeks. There were so many things. But what stood out for me, and I will always remember this specific day, I was on the subway on my way to work. I was actually working at a stock brokerage firm. And always had an interest in human justice issues and was involved in different things. Uh, did some work in Northern Ontario with Aboriginal communities. and studied music and was sort of doing all these different things. And I was on the subway and I saw this uh, poster and it was a caption of a man leaving a uh, penitentiary, walking down a long corridor. And the caption read, Freedom, now the punishment starts. And I couldn't stop thinking about that the whole day. It stayed with me. I wondered, who was that man? I'd like to know more about him. And who is John Howard Society? What is this organization? What do they do? So I immediately got to work and called the John Howard Society. And uh, I told them about the, the poster that I had seen. I was very interested in the agency and wanted to know if I could volunteer. So that's what I started doing uh, around 1986. And then over the last few weeks, too, I was thinking about that man and I thought, well, where did that really come from for me? That I felt so compelled in that moment and so pulled that I had to do this work. I had to start. It was like a calling, a mission. And I recall my uh, parents, I grew up in rural Ontario, uh, a farm, and often feeding uh, various people that would show up to the door in need of a meal, and never turned away. And I also recall my dad picking up hitchhikers. Uh, up, I, I live just outside of Peterborough, so for those of you that knew, know Ontario, you might know where I'm going with this story. My dad would pick up hitchhikers along the 115, and when my mom wasn't in the car, and it was he and I, he would say, don't tell your mom we picked up these hitchhikers. And uh, lo and behold, they'd be wanting to go to Toronto, and my dad would take them out so that they could get closer to the highway to get to Toronto. And he always said to me, you know, everybody's got a story and we need to listen to that story. But they filled my mind with curiosity. They never spoke to my sister or I from a fear place. Uh, it was always, who are these people and, and what are their stories? Now I know, years later, that these were men who were leaving the Milbrook Correctional Center. And what's really touching for me is that my parents knew that too. And they always had a, a, a setting at the table for someone to come in for a meal. And they always picked up someone in need. So that's something that I'm very proud of because it's uh, meant a lot to my life in so many ways. And I'm just curious about things and to never sit in judgment. And that helped me in my work uh, with clients over the years. Now that, to me, was really the best time of my life at John Howard. <laughs> I've had many great experiences. But working with our clients individually and in a group is something that I really, really enjoyed because I was curious. I wanted to know what their stories were. I knew it wasn't just about uh, the offense and that there was so much more uh, behind that and wanted to learn and to figure out how we could help them. There was uh, one turning point, several, but one I want to point out, and that was when I met Graham Stewart. Uh, Graham Stewart certainly uh, meant and continues to mean a lot to my career. 
I went to him in the very early days of working at John Howard Toronto with a concern that I had about our branch at the time. I'd only been there a year. I didn't know who Graham was, and no one else seemed... Uh, I didn't really have anyone else that I could go to in this particular situation. But I thought, well, if this agency is uh, really about uh, everything it says that it is, the person running John Howard Ontario, I think, will have a lot of integrity. So I went over and knocked on Graham's door, and uh, it was certainly an amazing experience. I learned a lot through all of that, and I think we could actually write a book <laughs> about that time period. But at any rate, there's just a few things here. I'm just going to move to my notes here and, and uh, get through this to sum up. But I'm very proud to work for an organization that supports people who are in their darkest hours, when many would simply turn their backs on them. I have learned uh, so much from hearing the stories of clients over the years and done my very best to support them on their journeys. As an agency, we strive to hold people accountable while at the same time delivering services that are based in best practices, as that is what our clients and communities deserve. I am proud to work for an agency that supports research to ensure services are meaningful and relevant. I am very proud to be part of an organization that advocates for change and is a voice against political injustices that no one, that really serve no one, and we've heard a lot of that today, and create significant harm for all. Whenever I hear of something positive happening in the justice field in Canada, I know, not only do I know, I believe that somewhere in Canada there was a John Howard Society involved, and I always get excited about that. And I'm very proud of that. Uh, a good friend of mine, uh, John Bilton, uh, executive director for John Howard Kitchener for a number of years, said at his retirement, the work we do is so important and we must stay the course. I look forward to many more years uh, in this job, uh, for to me, uh, it's more than a job. I love the John Howard Society, and it really is just the humane thing for me to continue doing. Thank you.